Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Back here in Hermosa Beach and our last break of the Monday night is going to be 2020-2021 Panini Select Basketball 4 box. Uh, pick your team number 15. No, I don't mind. I definitely want to just finish off the case. So I don't mind staying a little late for this. And I appreciate Ryan Redman helping me out and knocking out the final four teams. So thanks everybody. Thanks to Ryan and thanks to everyone else for uh, getting together and making this final third of this case happen. So number 15 is the final third of the case. Uh, I don't know if you were paying attention earlier, Ryan, but I'm pretty sure I did not see the... Uh, pretty sure we didn't see any zebra yet. So maybe we'll see the call of the wild, a zebra. I've seen a zebra a few times in real life. Mostly at a zoo. But I I want to say Hearst Castle that was owned by William Randolph Hearst back in the early 1900s. Um, has a, a bunch of like a bunch of land around the castle. I think there's zebras out there. I think I've seen them before there. I want to say Gotcha, you haven't seen it. So, no zebras yet, Ryan. All right, good luck, gang. Thanks for the fill. Let's go. Uh-oh, we got a randomizer between the Spurs and the Lakers. There's Danny Green, Spurs edition, Lakers edition. One happy person, one sad person. Spurs, Ryan Redman, Lakers, Sean O'Leary. We'll do that randomizer along with any other uh, duet selections cards at the end. There's Jane McDaniels to 199, red parallel. For the T Wolves, uh, and that will be for Sean O. Got Patty Mills and an Anthony Edwards Premier Level. That's going to Sean and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And we got an Isaiah Stewart autograph. Nice. Rookie auto for the Pistons. We're talking a lot of Pistons basketball earlier today, Andrew, who has the Pistons in this break. I think guys, guys like this, right? Guys like this uh, could be the, the start of a nice young core in Detroit. Killian Hayes as well. They develop for a couple of years here and there. Maybe maybe uh, snatch a free agent or two. Get some good coaching. Has put puts all that good coaching puts all that together. We'll see what happens. Under two ninety nine, Carl Anthony Towns, doing it live. When's the big drawing? Whenever all the national breaks sell out. We still have some stragglers. And here's courtside Josh Green for Dallas. That's going to be for Miles. And we got Jordan and Wara. So when the drawing is, is going to be up to you. That's 82 out of 199. I feel, I feel, feel pretty good about it. They're saving Lee Trica. I feel pretty good, Willie, about the Lakers getting Russell, uh, I almost said Wilson, Westbrook. If they got Russell Wilson, I would definitely question the front office and their... their their tactics. Nice Zion, 16 out of 99 purple die cut. And I'll be interesting to see, interested to see how Westbrook fits with that team. 
You know, how, how is he going to work? Um, you know, he's not going to be required to, uh, I don't think he's going to be required to, to shoulder the offensive burden as, his, as, as he's been asked to on many other teams. So how does he adjust to that, that role? There's Zeke Naji. He's done it before. I mean, I think he's been with KD and, and, and James Harden. A different kind of James Harden, but still. So I think it'll be interesting to see how that all fits together. Are they going to change the Lakers and change the name of their team to Team USA? Probably not. I mean, they, Westbrook, AD, and LeBron, they, just, they, they have three. Just like a lot of teams with, with big threes. They still need the other guys to step up. Anthony Davis, I mean, it doesn't matter what the Lakers do um, with trades and, and other little mid-level exceptions and other signings and whatnot. Because at the end of the day, you still need Anthony Davis to be 100%. You know, yeah, I do like the Dwight, the return of Dwight Howard. I think he's going to be a good backup to Anthony Davis. But really, it's not going to matter unless Anthony Davis is, is 100% through the regular season in the playoffs because he's he's definitely the key you know Le LeBron's not getting any LeBron's not getting any younger I'm gonna I can accept that I think everyone can accept that that's why that's why Anthony Davis is so important and Westbrook will get his let's see how he fits with that team I think they're still they're still trying to get a uh, Still trying to get Buddy Heald, I think, who's a pretty solid shooter. I think they need something like that. A little youth, a little shooting. But I like Ariza coming back to the Lakers, too. Russ, AD, and LeBron, what happened to being competitive? How do you, what do you mean? I'm doing it live. I'm not sure I understand that question. Yeah, Caruso. Hey, look, listen, I'm I'm happy that Caruso got paid though. He deserved it. Good for him. There's Udoka, Silver. What do you What do you mean? You act like this is the first time something like this has happened. This is the way the league is, man. It's not. This is not the Lakers' fault. You see what the Warriors did when they got KD. You see what the what the Celtics did when they got KG and Paul Pierce and Ray Allen. You don't see the Nets doing it. KD, Kyrie, James Harden. Don't act like. Don't make it seem like the Lakers have have like upset the apple cart on that. So, relax. <laughs> What about Paul? What about Paul George and Kawhi Leonard ending up on on the Clippers? There's another one, Boyan Bogdanovich. Nets edition, Jazz edition, randomizer. LeBron started by going to Miami, did he though? What about what about Shaq and Kobe? <laughs> what about Kobe and Pau Gasol, Derek Fisher, all those guys? There's Ben Simmons. Now this this is this has been happening. This has been happening for a long time. I wouldn't be so I wouldn't act so shocked. Ben Simmons goes to the Sixers. Kevin O. And the Obi Toppin Silver goes to Sun and the Knicks. Is Danny Avija to 65? Tyrese Halliburton and Cam Reddish, nice. In flight autograph. Yeah, but I don't know. You make it seem like the Lakers are this like big, are these bad guys. They made a trade that anyone else could have made. They don't have money to spend. <laughs> it's not like it's not like they they spent their way into this. I mean, they spent money on on AD and LeBron James, but but they've their cap is full because of that. They made a they made a deal. They made a trade with Washington, and they sent Russell Westbrook to us. They could have said no. 
So it's not like it's not like the Lakers, uh, you know, flex their financial might to try to 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 get top players. They just can't. There's LeBron right there. Lakers did win a real ring. They did it last year. It's Brandon Clark to 199. Memphis. I saw the ring ceremony for the Lakers. They're, they're pretty real. The ring's pretty nice. Tobias Harris, jersey and autograph. There's Tobias Harris, 57 out of 249, jersey and autograph. That'd be the Sixers, Kevin O. They had two of the top five players last year. They did. And they didn't win. Shows you how tough basketball is. Look at the firepower the Nets have. Had. LeBron has won a number of real real wing rings. Doing it live. <laughs> What's what's the uh, what's the fake one with no cherry picking of all stars? So so the so the Warriors didn't win a real ring either, right? Those ones with KD because they uh, they cherry picked a top five basketball player to add to Clay Thompson, Draymond, and Steph. I mean. It's tough to win a championship. It requires that that kind of talent to accumulate on a team to make that work. All his rings weren't impressive. You don't think LeBron James coming back against the Warriors down three games to one or something like that that wasn't impressive to you? I don't know what I don't know what you want. <laughs> I mean. Very rarely does very rarely do you have uh, very rarely do you have teams that just homegrown that I mean what do you want to happen? You want the superstar to homegrown a team to get drafted by their team, get homegrown talent, and then and then work through the draft and hope it all works out. I don't know if it works like that. I mean maybe. Maybe 30 years ago it works like that. But I don't know if it works like that anymore. Miles Bridges. Out of 299, Jokic. But I mean like... All, all the players that win championships have, like, big names next to them. Kobe couldn't do it by himself. He needed Pau Gasol. He needed Shaq. You know, among other players that were on those teams, those championship teams. Like, you want, I mean, you can't do it by yourself. Even Michael Jordan didn't do it by themselves. You need more teams like the Blazers, Nuggets. Yeah, but they're not. They're not winning. Yeah, but that was uh, Jordan did. But that was in the nineties. <laughs> San Fuego, Steph Curry. He just added Kyle Lowry. So I guess you 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 could be like, well, the Heat are trying to like build like the super team, throwing their money around. Right, except for Rodman and Rodman, right. Yeah, everyone in the Bulls is Rodman, but... And, uh, yeah, Scottie Pippen wasn't drafted by the Bulls either. I don't know. I see what you're saying, but I, I, I think there's a lot of revisionist history about what basketball in the 90s were like. There's a silver Luka Doncic. Premier level.
But yeah, I think there's a lot of revisionist history that we have in our head about what happened in the, you know, what happened in the 90s with those Bulls, especially those Bulls teams. There's Udoka, jersey and autograph. If you had to guess, would you say this is caffeinated or 82 not? 82 out of 99. Not caffeinated. Really? Yeah. Is yeah. it though? I don't know. It doesn't say anything. I can't, it literally, like, I thought that would be something that would market, wouldn't it? Caffeine content. Right here. Look at the fine print, Sean. Come on, man. You know, not know how to read labels? So it is caffeinated. It's very caffeinated. <laughs> Oliver with the jazz. CJ Ellaby scope. Tyrese Halliburton. Mr. Jamal Murray to 249, die cut. Doing a lot. Let me know when he wins, wins a real one. I'll let you know. He has multiple already. Theo Maladon, rookie auto. Yeah, he's won four. Especially, the, I mean, are you you you're still ignoring the fact that he? The, what about the one where he was down multiple games to a team like the Warriors, and brought them back? That must be the realest one, according to according to you. I think I think you're I think doing it live I think you're just cherry picking what championships are real or not. Yeah, he had Kyrie against a team that had Klay Thompson, Steph Curry and Draymond Green. What are you saying? Are you saying LeBron has to has to do it all by himself with zero All-Stars for it to be a real one? I don't I can't imagine the last 20 years a team that has had one superstar and no other All-Stars and won a championship. In the last 30 years, maybe, name, name a team that has run, a, if by your criteria, won a real ring. Who is one, who's the last team that won a real ring doing it live, according to your criteria? That's it. So Mavericks, Mavericks in 2011. That's the only team that has a, a real ring in in the 2000s. I mean, that's a pretty strict criteria. It's it's just a little unrealistic. Yeah, but Jordan had. Come on, Jordan had Dennis Rodman. Jordan had Dennis Rodman and Scottie Pippen. And frankly, didn't didn't really win anything until he had those players next to him. Remember, his early years were pretty rough. And a lot of people were thinking Jordan's just a scorer and not a champion. There's Capazzo. I mean, just say you don't like LeBron James. That's fine. Don't try to make, don't try to make these arguments here. There's Precious Achua for the Heat and a Zion courtside. Uh, there you go. So yeah, just say you don't like LeBron James. Don't don't try to make a silly 
real ring argument. That's that's the that's the truth of the matter. For some reason, you just don't like LeBron James. There's Westbrook to 75. You Laker, Porterhouse State with the Wizards. And Tyrese Halliburton, nice die cut blue to 249. I don't know. Listen, I mean, thing is, thing is, like, you act like West, adding Westbrook is, like, some sort of, like, massive addition. <laughs> and really, he's just an old, overpaid player who plays a style of basketball that is a little antiquated in, modern, in, in the modern NBA. So I don't know if, like, you know, there's a silver LeBron James, you know. So, like... I don't know if it's this like this automatic like oh now the Lakers are gonna and a lot of a lot of basketball experts are suggesting that he's in the, probably he's a, definitely a name he's a big name but I don't know if he's a good fit for the Lakers that remains to be seen Devin Vassell uh, autograph going to the Spurs Ryan Redmond last spot mojo. Yeah, Westbrook is certainly one of the most athletic players in the NBA from the last five years, but what has that gotten him? Chips? Not yet. Not by himself. There's Mitchell Robinson to 199. And we got Kuzma. Jersey and autograph. Wish Kuzma worked out with the Lakers. And hopefully a change of scenery will do him good. Yeah, he has the most triple doubles in history, Westbrook. And what's going to happen when he joins LeBron? You think he's still going to get triple doubles with LeBron and AD on the floor? He's going to have to learn how to change his game. It's not fantasy basketball. It's not like you're just... You're just adding these pieces, and all of a sudden, hey, there you go. It's going to work out. He's got to learn how to change his game significantly, actually. So that's going to be a tough thing for Westbrook. And if he can't adjust to it, everyone's going to be like, lol's Lakers. What a, what a silly move. All right, some randomizers. So it's not a foregone clue conclusion that just adding Westbrook is going to, is going to mean instant success. AD still has to stay healthy. That's going to be a big issue. Yeah, they're still going to need outside shooting, which they're unable to do. LeBron bought all-star AD and now he brings all-star... But see, I, I don't know why you're just singling out LeBron. That doesn't make sense. Do you feel the same way? As, feel as vehemently when Steph Curry brought in KD? You know? When the Nets built a team together that looks like looks the way it does, how many All Stars does uh, just Jimmy Butler need? He's got Kyle Lowry now. Now I don't know if I buy that argument, especially with the way the NBA is constructed these days. All right, there's Danny Green, Spurs, Lakers. Brooklyn, Utah. All right, Brooklyn, Utah for the Bogdanovich, Boyan. All right, let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a three, nine times. Team on top gets it after nine. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, Spurs. It'll be Ryan Redman with the Spurs. We'll get the duet selections, dual relic, Danny Green. 
And then we got Boyan Bogdanovich. Once again, six and a three, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, Utah, Oliver Soria. After nine, you'll get the uh, the dual relic purple parallel of Boyan Bogdanovich. You got Nets edition on the left side and Jazz edition on the other side to 99. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, great basketball break. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I um, don't know if you have any more select for now, but keep your eye out for more. I really love this stuff and want to, want to rip some more of this stuff uh, in the near future. So keep checking uh, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe Jaspi, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.